so now we are talking about some amazingly different plants so we have spoken about the cactus which is a desert plant and instead of leaves it has spines and these spines um, don't allow the loss of water and it also protects the plant that is the harm caused by the animals next is the venus fly trap so the name of the plant is called the venus fly trap so it is both a producer and a carnivore so we will be talking about a carnivore in our next class a carnivore is an animal that eats only other animals so this venus fly trap so it is both a producer and a carnivore it is called a carnivore because it eats other insects that's why it is named as venus fly trap it gets energy from the sun and transforms it into food so it follows the process of photosynthesis so it gets energy from the sun and transforms it into food it also has a very unique feeding habit as it is dependent on insects for nutrients so this venus fly trap, trap plant depends on insects for its nutrients it catches its prey mainly insects and traps them in its dead leaves so if a insect goes and sits on a flower it catches it and keeps it in its de dead leaves such plants are known as insectivorous plants so the name of such plants are insectivorous plants example sundew picture plants so these are the examples of the venus fly trap next is a non green plant so these plants are not green in color these plants do not have chlorophyll that's why it is known as non green plants these plants are also referred to as fungi so the other name for non green plants are fungi they grow on dead and decaying plants so they are mostly found on dead and plants that are decaying and animals they also get their food from these dead and decaying living organisms example molds and mushrooms so these are the three type of different different amazing plants that is your cactus your venus fly trap and your non green plants